My uncle works as a physician in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, helping children with scoliosis of the spine. He finds orphans and arranges for them to receive surgeries in Ghana. Through his work, he has adopted four children who I have the pleasure of calling my cousins. After visiting my uncle and witnessing Ethiopia's poverty in 2009, my mom created the Ethiopian Family Fund, or EFF, a nonprofit organization committed to the development of sustainable education and healthcare programs that positively impact Ethiopian children and their families. The nonprofit has a program called Romans Girls, where donors give young girls the opportunity to receive an education and impact their communities. I actively sponsor student Ayer Salem Solomon, and I was able to meet her in person when I traveled to Ethiopia at 11 years old. The concepts of participatory culture and passionate affinity groups changed how I see EFF and my involvement in it. Henry Jenkins defines a participatory culture as a rich site of informal learning through low barriers for engagement, strong support for ideas, and informal mentorship in which all contributions matter. Facebook allowed my mom to use popular culture resources to think with and engage in her environment. In the Participatory Cultures Handbook, Erin Delwich and Jennifer Jacobs Henderson outlined participatory culture as a collaborative space where creative work is supported by an environment of like-minded individuals united over a common interest. After returning home, my mom collectively organized her passion on Facebook, posting photos and comments about her trip, providing information for people who were interested. Because the page was public, all users could access her ideas, learn about her cause, and contribute to existing knowledge. This accessibility allowed for all users to produce and consume content, developing strong support for the beginnings of EFF. Users' unity over the cause developed what G defines as a passionate affinity group, or a group defined by common interest rather than race, gender, or social class. The feedback inspired my mom to create an organization helping the impoverished through online donations. All commons contributed to what the organization embodies today. This accumulation emphasizes the importance of making participants feel like their contributions matter as they feel more connected to the cause. All participation, even if it was just liking the Facebook page, created both a community and an idea united over serving Ethiopian needs. My mom then offered what G defines as informal mentorship, or more experienced individuals using their knowledge to assist others in engagement. She did this through posting updates on Romans Girls, EFF success, and my uncle's work. In doing this, she used her insight to expand participant involvement. From here, the Ethiopian Family Fund was founded and a website was created where users could donate. Today, EFF continues to impact and inspire, allowing donors to contribute to international social change. The organization started online, and through the development of a passionate affinity group and participatory culture, it influenced people's actions to make a difference. My memberships in EFF's passionate affinity group and participatory culture have prominently impacted my life and my actions. Experiencing Ethiopian society firsthand has allowed me to see the impact that I make and encourages me to get more people involved. Our digital world today offers endless opportunities for interest, involvement, and action. Harnessing these tools allowed my mom to step out and make social change through uniting the anonymous extraordinaries that make up the nonprofit. My family's involvement in social change has allowed me to cultivate a stronger sense of self and has broadened my identity as a student, a philanthropist, and a person.